Does your undergraduate reputation matter for medical school admissions? It's a bit complicated. The answer is both yes and no. Stick around to find out why. What's going on guys? Dr. Jabal, MedSchoolInsiders.com. There have been a handful of interesting recent economic studies examining the effect of university prestige in long-term success. A recent study by Guy and colleagues found that there was no relationship between college selectivity and long-term earnings. However, for women, there was a significant correlation between attending a college with a higher average SAT score for matriculants and increased earnings and reduced rates of marriage. It is important to note, however, that these women aren't earning higher per hour wages, but rather, they're working more hours per day. On average, these women delayed marriage, delayed having kids, and stayed in the workforce longer than similar women who graduated from less selective schools. In short, they were more career focused. Chetty et al. in 2017 found that lower income students at elite schools had a higher chance of reaching the top 1% in earnings compared to those at public universities. In a broader sense, these data suggest that if you're affluent, Caucasian, and male, the effect of college prestige is minimal. After all, you're likely to be more connected than a less affluent minority student, which is exactly why elite colleges have a larger effect on those who are not rich, not white, and are not men. Rather than relying on connections through family, elite colleges provide the connections and credibility that connect these graduates to higher paying jobs. Now this all makes sense for students in general, but what about students specifically pursuing a career in medicine? Blue and colleagues studied whether there was merit to undergrad university selectivity in predicting medical school performance. They found that the students' GPA and MCAT were much more effective predictors of medical school performance than the school from which they graduated. Unfortunately, there is a lack of research examining undergrad school selection and success in medical school and beyond. But luckily, at Med School Insiders, our combined dozens of years of medical school admissions experience provides us with a vantage point to tell you what it's like from the perspective of medical school admissions committees. In short, we found that when medical schools look at your application, the reputation of your undergraduate institution is not high on the list in terms of importance. If a student's GPA, MCAT, extracurriculars, personal statement, secondary essays, and letters of recommendation are all strong, then this is simply a strong applicant regardless of the school that they attended. Now let's illustrate this with an example. Johnny goes to a state school that is not highly ranked. Rather, his school is known for being fun, if you know what I mean. But he was able to avoid the allure of all the frat parties, and by the time he's ready to apply, he has a 4.0 GPA and an MCAT score of 520, two publications, leadership experience in a couple organizations, and excellent letters of recommendation. Sally, on the other hand, attends Harvard. And by the time she's ready to apply, she has a 3.5 GPA, an MCAT of 508, and while she has letters of recommendation from some of the most world-renowned Alzheimer's disease researchers in the world, she wasn't able to create a strong personal connection, so those letters are somewhat generic. Between Sally and Johnny, who do you think is going to be the more competitive applicant? Despite going to a top university, I would put my money on Johnny. But that isn't always the case. There are some advantages to going to a more prestigious university. Allow me to explain. If you take two students who have identical scores and identical extracurriculars, the student coming from the more prestigious university will be viewed more favorably, all other factors being equal. This is even more so if they attend a highly competitive school with grade deflation like MIT or Caltech. Getting a 3.7 GPA at one of these institutions is much more impressive than getting a 3.7 GPA at your local community college. But the main reason your university matters is less because of the direct effect of reputation and more because of the indirect effects. Notably, the program's resources and opportunities for pre-meds. If you want to go to a top-ranked medical school, research is an important part of that equation you're much more likely to have significant research experience with abstracts or publications at a school like UC Berkeley than you are at a community college. 
Similarly, hospital volunteer and clinical opportunities are going to be easier to find at an institution of this caliber that caters to a significant number of pre-meds. Now I'll start by sharing what I did when it came to applying to college. I scored in the 99th percentile on my SAT, and I had a strong application, but I didn't apply to Ivy League schools. I was born and raised in California, and I really like it here. So I decided to apply to California schools. When deciding between UC Berkeley and UCLA, I chose the latter because I was keen on exploring a new region of California, and I loved the campus. I knew that either program would provide me with a solid education. I believed that the driver of my success was based on me, not my school, so I didn't really sweat it too much. My college career was a great success, and I was a strong medical school applicant, interviewing and getting acceptance offers at multiple top 5 medical schools. Again, I chose UC San Diego, a top 15 program, over some more prestigious or elite programs because I knew I would get a solid education, and it's a terrifically strong program even if it's not a Harvard, Penn, or Wash U. So choose a solid program where you believe you'll get a strong education and have the resources and opportunities available to you. If a private school is too expensive, don't be afraid to go public, like I did. I went public my entire life and still got top numbers and matched into one of the most competitive specialties. In short, I went to great programs, but I didn't sweat the prestige or rankings when making my decisions. I knew that after a certain point, program quality is strong and the rest is going to be on me. The key point is this. The talent and merits of each individual student are worth far more than the resources and prestige of elite schools. Ultimately, it's more important that you worry about the systems that you implement in your life, the habits that you create and that ultimately dictate your trajectory rather than the school you go to. Systems produce results. And this is our philosophy at Med School Insiders. Each individual is unique, and it's a matter of maximizing your systems and habits to grow, learn, and become the best version of yourself. It's more than just checking in the boxes. While research, top scores, and strong extracurriculars are key, the foundational principles that facilitate those aspects of your application are just as, if not more, important, and it is these same principles that will help you generate compounding success into your future. Our mission is to create a generation of happier, healthier, and more effective doctors. And the best way to do that is with a personal and individualized plan to maximize a student's potential, not just checking in all the boxes. To learn more and see how we help students maximize their potential, visit medschoolinsiders.com. The first 30 customers will receive $30 off their purchase of $100 or more using the coupon code SYSTEMS30. Link in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know where are you going to college and where do you hope to go for medical school? It's always fun hearing from you guys, so please leave a comment down below. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you were not a fan, I really don't mind if you leave a thumbs down. New videos every Saturday morning at 8 a.m. Pacific time, so make sure you're subscribed, and I will see you guys in that next one.